Hey everyone, 794 here, back in Thomas Was Alone. Um, I had a look at the previous recording, uh, the game audio seemed a little bit... It, it wasn't overpowering me, but it did seem a bit loud, so I turned the game audio down a tad more. Uh, let me know what you think, and if it made a difference. Uh, let's go. Let's continue this story. Already attaching characters. They're like covered in sticky goo. Nasty. All right. John knew. He knew that this was his John. chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. Okay. So this is John. Uh, everyone meet John. He's uh. Not blue, which is good because I might mistake him for Tetromino and ask him why he's never there when I need him most. <laughs> Alright, so let's get him where he needs to go. Let's get Thomas to carry him over here. Uh, get him right on this edge. Get Thomas up there with him. There we go. Well, I'm gonna be mixing up my characters a lot. There we go, awesome. So see three characters starts to get a little more crazy this would not do John needed room to show off his exceptional skills as it was he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things Where they come <laughs> from anyway <laughs> these little dot things uh, well where did we come from anyways huh There you go, man. You can get to your end. Awesome. So there's a switch. Oh, we got some water. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. <laughs> time Charming. to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. <laughs> John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell Looks like from the need sympathetic him. expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> <laughs> He's been, but John, John is excited. He's like, he's even more excited than, uh, Thomas. Oops. I'm gonna probably be doing that a lot. <coughs> I'm a little bit sick, but I'll try to refrain from coughing as much as I can. I, I couldn't wait any longer. I had already waited in a few days since I was sick, but I just couldn't do it any longer. Woo! Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a collectible right up there. It looks like we can only get it if we have John. Uh, who we need to move for, uh, Chris. Awesome. We're gonna need Thomas here, so that Chris can get up. Awesome teamwork. Get, uh, John down here. John, can you click that little pixel for us, please? Thank you. Got John in his place. Let's get Thomas up here. Uh, Chris will probably need some help. Nope, he's got it. Awesome. Oops. Oh, however... <laughs> Chris, we need you back. Because you're not the only one who uh, needs elevated platforms. Awesome. Awesome indeed. The air smells of awesome, after all. <sighs> Always the useless switch. Purple. White one. Okay. Let's get up here to press this switch. Oh, no. Looks like we need an even higher elevation. John was Perfect. happy to keep helping. He <coughs> felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. Gotta help those little guys, you know? Maybe he 
that we needed here. Let's not get him too far ahead now. Oh yeah, we'll be needing him back here, actually. It looks like... Jong, get your ass back here. Wow. Alright. Let's get him here. And we'll get Thomas here. Oh man, this is getting... This is getting complicated. Um... Complicated and Ah, no! Dang it, look at this, see? Look at this complicated stuff. How could it be so complicated? This is what we gotta do. We gotta go... Uh, we can't jump when we're carrying someone. <laughs> okay, okay, that's as far as we can go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> what do we have to do here? I have played this game before, I assure you. Hmm. Yeah, so you can see it gets tricky here. Uh, no really? Would have never guessed. Okay. Ah, right, of course. We just need to slide him over a bit so that he can slide a little more over. So that he can slide here. Ah, crap! See, it's because I switched to the wrong character. Jeez, okay. Thomas, get here. Dang it, no, Thomas, actually, you need to come back down. Okay. And we'll get Chris up here. We'll get Thomas to hop on over, be used as a ladder, make sure we have the right character selected, and BAM! Good stuff. Because that did not take long enough. Not at all. Okay. <gasps> yeah, I didn't think I'd make that, but hey, I figured I'd try. Alright. Get him to slide over so we can get this old guy here. And uh, this is a simple matter of uh, repeat what you practice. Get him here, Thomas up, and jump on over. And we're gonna have to do it yet again. They're just making sure that we got this down. Do we got it down, guys? I think I got it down. Awesome. Get Thomas here. Little bunny hop. Look at that, I didn't switch through by scrolling the wrong way. Okay. Get him here. And uh, let's get on this platform. Let's start with this little guy. No offense. Okay. No! I don't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumps. All right, get set up here. And jump! Good job. We'll get Thomas over here too. Awesome. Um, let's get him here. We're gonna need, oh, almost made him fall. That would have sucked. All right, here we go. Here we gotta do this again in this little, little, little tight space. Okay, here we go. Oh, dang it, forgot the one. Essential step of uh, the first step. All right, get him here. And here we go. We're moving, we're slick. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. Woo. Dilling. The three amigos. Only one of them is slightly um, unenthusiastic about everything in general. Let's get him here. Get this guy up where he needs to be. Old Chris. Old Christopher Robin. I'm kidding. It's Christopher Square. Actually, he is square, isn't he? Why, why do you gotta be so square, man? See, uh, we're rectangles, but uh, old Chris here, he's, there's a reason he's so cross, and that's because he's square. Don't be there or be square, you know? <laughs> Alright, let's get uh, this complicated formation set, now that we have both collectibles. Awesome. And get him there, and get him there, and here we go. End of the level. 
we got both collectibles. I already said that. Bloom. One point one oh. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Very happy indeed. Oh, here we go. Get him right in the middle so that old, old Chris can uh, feel accomplished. I mean, we can't just abandon Chris. He's a fellow 4x4 four four shape, after all. Can't discriminate. Okay. Let's get uh Maybe Chris. that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Now 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 no. Don't get too self-centered. You're not you, we all play a role in this. The initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. As the air spread, these variations became ex increasingly extreme. This was how Claire would die. Oh no! She knew it would happen eventually. No, Claire. Have faith. She was oh, rubbish at jumping. You're a bit husky. And she moved slowly. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking ah. some kind of natural order. No, no, no. Oh no! It's gonna kill us in the water. A dramatic death. She's no, no, please don't. Please don't. Wait. Ah, ah. Claire couldn't hmm. shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, huh. dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Oh my God, Claire, you are a superwoman. Awesome. So Claire uh, is immune to water. This can be very pers purposeful. Wow. Her life was falling right in front of her eyes, but not anymore. Now so she's got a, a cape. Superpower. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water, which was her superpower. Clearly. And fitting over small gaps, too. Well, large gaps, I mean, without having been affected by them. Well, she's met John. John, they're quite opposite from each other. But, they can still complete a level. All right. Fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. Awesome. Look at that. Already, she just made a level impossible for these uh, yellow dots. These uh, small dots and the large skinny rectangle and let's not forget the main hero of this mission the large not skinny rectangle uh, actually just a large square Claire arrived just in time which was of course the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive it's raining and it looks like the water is rising we have to get Thomas to open up the way for her. She's got to be ready. All right, here comes the water. This is where she. This is where she shines. All right. 
She, she's met Thomas now. Well, she's, had, she's met the, the whole gang, began actually. began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Oh, it won't take any restarts. I assure you that. Okay, let's quickly go get this collectible. Huh? Oh, no! Was she more the lone Avenger type? She liked that. The sole hero in a world. Claire arrived just in time. Which was, of course, <laughs> the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. It is the perfect moment. Hopefully this will be done on this attempt so that I don't have to go and edit out all my fails. <laughs> what? I'm not lazy. Right. That is a challenging one. Uh, I don't, I gotta be honest with you, I don't know why I went about it uh, in the fashion that I did. I could have just ridden over there with Claire, As the water probably. began to rise, Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Okay. So I lied about the restart thing. Oh, but I maintained the collectible, so it's, it's all good. Was she more the Lone Avenger type? She liked that. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Awesome. Will Thomas be her sidekick? I don't know. Can Thomas prove himself? That's, that's the question. Oh, yeah. well, Thomas is in here now. But we got John. And Chris back. I wonder what Chris's thoughts told Claire that on Claire are. were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. All right, gathering everyone into their places. Uh, we'll get her back up here. Oops. No, we're not leaving Chris behind. No 4x4 four four shape will be left behind. Let's get everyone on here. Don't forget to Chris. Alright. So that's that's Chris's end right there. Uh, but we're going to need to get fit the others through there. So let's... Uh, Get everyone down. Down and dirty? I'm kidding, not dirty. Why would you think such a thing of cubes? Alright. Here we go. The end of this level. Uh, uh, okay. Mass character switching. Uh, okay. We gotta get in here. No, stop! Bit. See, uh, <laughs> get a grass. I gotta get a grasp on the the area of where people are. You know. Claire probably needed a nemesis, a villain nemesis. who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris you know, was the most why can't I be happy with our nemesis? He seemed Chris! His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes. Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Uh, it looks like they can't make it through. She might have to press a button. But... Looks like she's decided that Chris is going to be her nemesis. Yeah, here we go. Hit the switch and lower the water. Good stuff. Let's get everyone on board. All aboard Claire. Um, why would you think such thing of cubes? Don't even, don't even go there. But we're not all cubes. Equality. Uh, we got to remember to... Uh, not be racist towards uh, other shapes because they are all equal uh, well they're not equal they all have different abilities but that's what makes them so uh, good is that everyone is different and everyone has different skills and um, one of my skills is not uh, efficiently switching between characters 
I'm surprised I didn't scroll through the whole list just to get the clay right there. I actually remembered to use L1. <laughs> Dave, where has Chris gone? Was he off somewhere? Plotting Claire's downfall? Oh no, I hope Claire not. was honest, and she had to be because she was a superhero. This was a troubling turn of events. Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. You don't have to have a villain in order to save the day. Sometimes all you need is a purpose, and right now that's what that's what Claire has. She has a purpose, and that is to uh, apparently get to the portals. Um, but she has to bring her new friends with her too. Just because there's not someone there to try and stop her getting their friends to the portal doesn't mean it's any less helpful. Plop her down here. There we go. Let's not forget John. Uh, oop, uh, he's gonna block Thomas this way. Thomas, follow suit. Awesome. He's happy to oblige. They're all happy to oblige this uh, pack. Anyways, I think that's done it for episode two of Thomas Was Alone. Uh, we have been introduced to a new character, which is Claire, uh, who is immune to water and has the superpower of traveling through it without uh, being held back with restarts, obviously. So next time, we'll continue on with the story and see if maybe we'll meet some more characters. All right. This has been Thomas Was Alone with 704. I'll catch you next time.